Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great week so far. Today we were going to be talking about what is... Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to be talking about the manicures that I wore for the month of July. This does also include, include pedicure polishes as well. And I do start off each of these videos talking about the pedicures that I wore. And then I move into manicures that I, I enjoyed, manicures I loved. And then for the end, I save polishes that I just didn't care for. If there was a dud, if the manicure execution wasn't great, I save those for the very end of the video. So I hope that you enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy videos like this and let's go ahead and get into it. So I wore seven manicures this month and three pedicures. I ended up using 23 or so polishes, which is fantastic. But I will say some of these polishes are not untried. They have been polishes I have already worn. I do try to go into each month with polishes that I haven't worn and go from there. But I'm going to start off with the pedicure polishes first. The first one I did for the month of July is Cirque Colors Pyro. This is from the Vice Collection for 2022. It is a beautiful bright neon corally orange. Absolutely gorgeous shade. I will say with this one the formula was a little bit difficult to work with. It, application was smooth and easy. It was just a three coat polish. Now generally that's not unheard of, especially with neon polishes. But with this being Cirque Colors, I was a little surprised by the fact that it was a little more sheer than I was initially expecting it to be. While it was beautiful, it was just a little underwhelming as far as opacity goes. But Again, it is a neon, so I feel like you got to give it a little bit of grace when it comes to that because neons are difficult polishes to formulate usually anyway. This next polish is a Rogue Lacquer Neon Polish from her Hot Mess Express Neon Collection that she just released a little while ago. This one is called Luke Warm Regards, and it's a beautiful, bright, fun blue. It does dry down matte, which is great because that allows me to get a pedicure done that much faster. You, this polish was beautiful. It was opaque in two coats. It dried really, really quickly, so I was able to finish a, this pedicure in record time, pretty much. The only issue I had with this one was I did have part of it flake off on one toenail for some reason, and I don't know why that is. It just kind of flaked off, and I'm like, well, that's weird. So I just took it off and put something else on, but generally that doesn't happen for me. I've had it happen before with another polish, more like the like matte neon polishes I think I've actually had issues with. But anyway, it wore fairly decent, not great, but the polish itself was fun, was easy to apply, have no issues whatsoever. The current, the one I have on currently, Sally Hansen Miracle Gels Rain Glow. This is a beautiful like peachy coral shade, was a three coat polish, was a little more sheer than I initially expected it to be is wearing fairly well. I do have a chip on my big toe for some reason. I don't know if I hit it on something or what happened or if I rubbed it on something. I'm not sure, but it is wearing really well. I don't have any lifting, peeling, anything like that with this one, which is exciting. So that was the final pedicure that I wore for July. I tend to leave them on for like two weeks unless I'm sick of the color and I want to change it up a little bit. I'm trying to leave them on for a little bit more longer time in between to where I'm not feeling like I'm doing a pedicure every week. So that is it for the pedicures. Now we're going to move on to the manicures and we are going to start off with the manicures that blew me out of the water. These were absolutely beautiful polishes. They were beautiful manicure executions, I will say. So the first one I did is actually a 4th of July manicure. This one is using two polishes from Nail Hoot in the color September and July. And then I went in with a new to me polish from the brand Watcha and that was Magic Unicorn. It was part of HHC a while back and then it was part of their overstock. So I picked it up during the overstock part portion. I like that polish. I just, it wasn't quite what I thought it was. And I think you would, I would almost need to do like a blurring base coat or something. It is a off-white holographic polish. It's beautiful. It looked prettier on in the pictures. On me, it was a little underwhelming with, you know, color-wise. Formula was a little bit squishy, more squishy than I thought. 
was not the polish's fault. I just don't think I paid attention enough when I ordered this one. It was beautiful. I just was like, I need something extra. So I did go in with Cuticula's Brocade, which is a beautiful like silver, red, and blue polish that I used as a topper over top of the Whatcha nail polish. And I loved that manicure. I didn't do any stamping, I don't think, because there was so much going on with this glitter and sparkle. I didn't want to take away from that. This manicure was beautiful. So the next one that I enjoyed was a, consisted of five polishes from Rogue Lacquer. This one is using their Sweet Dreams polishes, which are pastel, beautiful pastel shades that have black flakes. I have all five of them in my current collection, and I don't think I've worn all five before. I think I skipped the yellow leaning color before, but this time I'm like, I'm using all of them. Let's just get it done. So with these polishes, they are five beautiful pastel shades. You have a pastel pink called Strawberry Shacken. You have a minty green called Minty Chalky Chip. There is a beautiful bright blue called Cookie Monster. That's probably my favorite out of this whole set. There is a purple called Great Clouds, and then there is a yellow leaning polish that's called Lemon Drop. These are beautiful. I don't know if you can still get them or not. I don't want to say you can if you can't. I'm not really sure, but I will list them down below if they are available. I don't think they are, unfortunately. So the next one that I wore is one I got off of Inst Instagram. Somebody on Instagram had posted a picture of it and I wanted to wear something similar and I can't think of who it was. So I went in with a beautiful purple polish from Cirque Colors. This was part of their neon collection for last year. This is in Guilty Pleasure. It is almost a one coat polish. I did do two coats of it. Wanted something extra with it. It was a little plain on its own and I thought I saw somebody post a picture with putting flakies over a purple polish. So that's what I did. So I pulled out another untried polish from Cuticula called Broken Fairy Tales. This is a beautiful, beautiful, shifty, iridescent, flaky topper. It shifts to so many different colors, I can't even tell you. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. Loved that manicure. It was so bright, so fun. Definitely need to do that again with flakies. I don't do that enough. This was just such a pretty manicure. Definitely one of my favorites. For the final favorite in last month's manicures, this one should be no surprise to me because I love every time I do it, but I did a different take on a couple manicures I've done last year, and I did one over the spring, I think, maybe, something like that. So I used two polishes from China Glaze, one in Cuba Diving, which is a fun, bright blue. Then I went in with a beautiful pink from China Glaze called Kid in a Candy Store, and that is from the Spring Collection for 2023. I went in with Orly Shine On Crazy Diamond, which is a beautiful holographic topper. I've talked about it before. I use that one every time I do this type of manicure. <laughs> it's just beautiful. And then I did polka dots on the pink and blue nails. So my index finger, or my ring finger and my middle finger, I alternated the pink and blue polka dots on each of those, and then I did go in with an unnamed black polish from Misha Beauty that is from a Facebook mystery box I recently got. Don't have a name for that one. I'm not sure if that one's even available, but I wanted black polka dots with this manicure, so I used that just standard dotting tools that I have here. Loved that one, you guys. It was so beautiful. It was so pretty. I didn't want to take it off, but I did run into some issues where I didn't put the top coat on all the way over the polish, and it looked like it was cracking a little bit. That annoys me to no end. But I run into that every time I do polish almost. Like when I do manicures, I run into that issue, and I'm not sure why. I don't know what it is. I just don't think I cover the entire nail itself. I'm not encapsulating that polish, and I think that's part of the problem. Side note there, this was beautiful. One other one I wore was another bright, fun one. This was featuring two from Rogue Lacquer called Neon Lights, which is a bright neon green polish with black flakes, and then As If, which is a bright neon pink with black flakes. These were released in the summer of 2021, so they were part of her Neons collection. These are beautiful. One of my favorites. I love them. I love when she does black flakies in polish. I don't know what it is. They are almost one coders for me. They never disappoint. They're so fun and so different. 
that if you have not gotten your hands on any of these with black flakies from Rogue, definitely try to dip your toe in a little bit because you will not be disappointed. They are superb. Now for the wrap up, we're going to get into a couple manicures that I just didn't really care for. I think I only have two that were duds this time around. The first one is one I tried to get inspo on through Google. I used four different colors, I think, and it just didn't like it. I put it on and it came right off within minutes. <laughs> like, I just don't like how this looks. I used China Glaze Sweeter Than Sugar from the Spring 2023 collection. I went in with Orly Kitch You Later, which is like a creamsicle orange. I used Essie's Splash of Grenadine. I think that's the name of that one. I'm not sure. I'll put that down below if I have it correct. And then OPI's I just cope with, I just can't cope with Cabana. I wasn't feeling it. I just did not like the color combo on me. I think if I had a darker skin tone, it might have looked a little bit better. But the Orly Kitchy Later shade was a little bit meh. It wasn't quite what I thought. A little disappointing. And I thought I may reserve that for pedicures and see how I feel about it. If I don't like it, I may end up destashing that one. I'm just not sure what it is. Like I said, I think paler skin tone that I am, maybe that's part of my problem. I'm not really sure. So the last one that I didn't care for, nothing against the polish, I just didn't necessarily like it on me, was one that I just got from Victorian Varnish, and this is called Spare Gears. It was an HHC item back a couple months ago. It is a beautiful multi-chrome polish with loads of holographic sparkle in there, but on me, I just didn't care for it, and I don't know why. I'm not sure what it was. In the pictures, it looks beautiful. My husband even loved it on me. He's like, well, that's pretty. I'm like, yeah, but I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I do plan to try it over maybe like a black to just do a light layer over black to see if that makes a difference. I don't know what it is. I love the fact that Victorian Varnish offers more product for the price. It's an indie based brand, but you get right around like Orly sizing as far as with the bottle goes you get the same amount like Orly's Orly's are 18 so I think Victorian varnish is 17 milliliters Orly's are 18 milliliters so they're really really close and for the price of the Victorian varnish I thought you can't beat it for that let's just go ahead and you know <laughs> say that about it I just didn't care for this one and I don't know why I am going to try it a few more times and see if I like it a little bit more, it is very sparkly, absolute gorgeousness in a bottle though. I will say that. If you got it, let me know your thoughts. It is pretty. It just was a little underwhelming for me and maybe I'm just being a little too hard on the polish itself. But anyway, that's it guys. That is everything that I wore for the month of July. I am going to try to hurry up and get this edited. I do have my biopsy here today in a couple hours and um, haven't felt good all day and I filmed this I don't know how many times today. I'm just like, I got to get this done, get it uploaded so you guys can watch it because we're into August already and this needs to be <laughs> up for everybody to see it. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and we'll see you in the next one.